BBC news reporter confuses viewers as he struggles with royal baby coverage Liverpool Echo. I. BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Wichow left viewers baffled yesterday as he appeared to forget what to say during a live news report from Windsor. Nicholas, who was reporting on the arrival of the new, suddenly appeared to forget what to say before apologizing and announcing he was Endipo. Collecting his thoughts, and a po. He tried to continue with the broadcast before getting himself into a fluster and handing back to the studio as he cooed and and a po. T finish his sentence. Viewers were quick to notice the awkward blunder and took to Twitter to share their thoughts and concerns for his well being. One concerned viewer said just seeing Nicholas Wichell on a live BBC News broadcast, he had to pass back to the studio, one of the most experienced presenters so it was Nandipo. T nerves etc, before he gets panned online, can everyone at least wait until he is confirmed ok, he deserves that. Another said, what just happened with Nicholas Wichell on the news at 10? He seemed to lose his train of thought on a couple of occasions during his report and ended up referring back to the studio without completing his report. Hope he and a pup. Nicholas has been a royal correspondent since 1998 and many of his colleagues and fellow journalists rushed to his defense. Sky News and a po. Cape Early Morning Doctors bury their mistakes, lawyers jail theirs and TV journalists broadcast theirs. Get off his case, this was retweeted over 40 times, including a retweet from Good Morning Britain presenter Susanna Reid. Middle East editor Jeremy Bowen tweeted I've seen some snide comments about Nick Wichell. Please stop, for all the latest TV and celeb news you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook via. You can also follow our individual reporters. Rebecca Consciency Lottie Gibbons Sophie McCoy